Hi class, I wanted to show you a little bit about how I go about saving my work in Jump. Uh, this is really handy when you're uh, in the middle of doing something big and you want to save things to come back later or just keep a track record of all the different things you're working on. Um, a few things like that. So this is uh, our Squirrel data set. We've been looking at this a little bit in class, or if we haven't, it's a very simple data set comparing the lengths of some squirrels by a variety of locations. And let's suppose we made a simple plot. I'll use Graph Builder for this. And we will look at the lengths of the squirrels across a variety of locations. Maybe we'll do a box plot. Never mind if this is a good or bad plot. Let's just say this is what we chose. And let's save this plot here. I'll close that so we have a nice pretty plot. Now I could save this plot to a file and it would create a whole separate file for this plot but it wouldn't really be linked up to my data set. So there are a few ways to um, save our results as we go. One way is to pull down the little red triangle, go to script, and actually you're not going to be able to see this, let me move this over a little bit more. So red triangle, script, and it's cut off a little bit here, but save script to data table. So what you'll see here in our data table is this little piece came in, says graph builder. So let me close our graph, get rid of it altogether. And if I pull down this triangle here and run the script, it actually produces the graph exactly as we made it before. If I have a lot of things going on, I might click on the words here and just say um, box plot comparing blanks and now I have a meaningful name there so when I come back later and save my jump file um, I'll be able to figure out where I am and what I'm doing. If I run this script and I'm realizing that's cut off a little bit for you guys, let me move this over, run the script Once again, I get all this. Now, if I had any customizations, like maybe I decided I don't need this little legend piece here, so um, I turn that off. And maybe I feel that the word location here is redundant, so I take it away. Maybe I don't want this title here, I take it away. That's fine, I can save that script, and let me move this over so you can see. save it to the data table. Here's a new one. If this were to go away, as long as I save this data table, when I reopen it, these will be here, and I can rerun that and get the plot exactly how I left it. So that's a really nice way to save your results tied directly to your data set, um, so it's kind of all in one file. So this data file, when I save it, if I were to save this, let me put this uh, somewhere handy, I'll put it on my desktop, and I'll call it uh, my example. It's a jump file. When I open this up again later, um, all those plots will be there. So that's one way to save um, your results. Another way to save your results is by using a journal. So let's go ahead and um, bring this graph back up. And the nice thing about a journal is it doesn't just save your current results, but it allows you to build a collection of results um, to help tell a story. So for example, if, if this plot is the way I like it, I can go up to Edit. Oops, I'll move this over so you can see better. Edit. Ah. Journal. Or just Control J. And it will open a new window. It looks pretty much the same, except it says Journal here. And this journal file uh, works a little bit differently than the graph itself. If I pull down here in the original graph, I get some graph controls. Over here, this really isn't a live graph anymore. If I want to get the graph controls again, I'd have to rerun the graph. Okay, so here's my journal. Let me set my journal aside for a minute. Close my original graph. 
Now maybe I want to do uh, a, some form of a model. Let's go ahead and find the, uh, let's make a little table here. Let's compare the lengths of the squirrels by the different locations. Maybe I'll get the group means. This is one way to get the group means. Maybe I'll get their standard deviations too. So there's the mean and standard deviation, sample size. Okay. If I like what I see here, I can go ahead and again edit journal or just hit control J. And now my journal file that was open, you can see it's added this little piece here. So now I have a collection. I have a picture and a nice little summary here that I can work with and later cut and paste into a Word document. Um, I could save this journal file. Okay, maybe my example. It's going to be a JRN file. And if I were to open it up later, um, I would be able to see all this stuff. If I needed to rerun this part of the analysis for some reason, I always could click here and rerun it in a new window and then make some changes. Let me give you an example of that. Rerun. And maybe I say, ooh, I really wanted to also include, uh, let's put the minimum up at the top and maybe the maximum and, and maybe even the median. Is that a choice in here? There's a median. Okay, we can get all kinds of summaries in there. And I can go ahead and Put that in the journal again, Let's move that so you can see. Now this has been added to the journal. If I don't want both of these, I can go to my selection tool, click on the one I don't want, and hit delete. Oop. And now we're down to uh, a summary that I might be interested in using. So in short, those are two primary ways I like to save my work, using journals, and saving directly to the data table. Both are very convenient. Um, I can't say which I use more. I, I, I use both uh, somewhat interchangeably, although the one thing I do like about the journal is I can actually build my story in one place, whereas if I saved, um, let's just do a quick example of that. Let me put the arrow back on. If I reran this, I could oops, let me move so you can see. I can save this to the data table. Okay, and now this tabulate would pop that up again. So here I'm having to pop each thing up separately if I really wanted to keep my story all in one place. The journal's the way to do it. All right, great. Talk to you more soon.